The Carrollton Covered Bridge, which crosses the Buchanan River in Barber County, was completed in 1856 by Emmett and Daniel O'Brien. It's a historical structure, you know, it's a, it's a tourist site. A lot of people come from out of state just to, you know, drive around the state of West Virginia and look at covered bridges, and, and this is, you know, one of the nicer ones. For more than 160 years, it served the community as the only river crossing for miles in either direction. On August 10th, 2017, it was nearly destroyed by arson. You can see that it, it burned a majority of the structure, mostly siding and the roofing was burned off, but it also did some damage to the main structural components. Now this bridge does have a modern superstructure under it that carries traffic, so that part of it you know, remains safe for traffic to drive on, but it's the out, outer timber portion of it that we're working on. The Carrollton Covered Bridge is the second longest and third oldest of the 17 covered bridges still standing in West Virginia, and it's on the National Register of Historic Places. And timeline's tough to guess just based on, you know, like I say, as we, you know, over these this first month or so, kind of evaluating where we're at and what all we're going to have to do, although we have a pretty good idea. Um, you know, we would have liked to have seen it got done this calendar year. It may potentially push into next year, depending on what we find as we continue to, to kind of clean things up and see what we have. Our original plan was to close it daily, kind of during work hours while we're working on it. Um, Based on some of the things we're finding today as we wash it, we're discussing potentially closing it all day long every day um, until we get some things done, kind of to keep it safe for the traveling public. As West Virginia Division of Highways works to rebuild this vital link, we appreciate the enthusiasm expressed statewide for the historic structure.